Talking Shirts is presented in partnership with White Oak Cottage. For more information, visit whiteoakcottage.co.uk. Welcome to episode 91 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hull KR Shirts and today we are going to take a look at the 2008 away shirt. So this isn't the first time that we've covered the 2008 away shirt. We've done that previously in episodes 57 and episode 78. So you can look back in the archive to have a look at those episodes if you do find that the 2008 away shirt is one of interest to you. Uh, but this one has been was issued to, should I say, to Chris Wellham. Uh, for the 2008 season. Uh, I've not actually covered a shirt of Chris Wellham in the past, most notably because this is the only one that I've got. And it is a shirt that, as I say, it was issued to him. It wasn't actually worn during that 2008 season, which is a shame. And I would love to have one from Chris's time when he was with us in his prime. But one when he was breaking through is all we've got in the collection at the moment. So let's take a, a quick tour of the share, but as I say, we will probably scoop through this fairly quickly just because we have covered the 08 away shirt before. But the 08 away shirt is probably, um, along with the home shirt, probably the last of the really sort of heavy sort of um, playing shirts that we saw. Uh, obviously, the replicas did continue to be a heavy material sort of through into 2010. But the, the playing shirts that the players wore, this is the last of the sort of really heavy style shirts. Um, some players that I've spoken to that wore this style of shirt have said to me in the past that how heavy that these became um, during the uh, the summer rugby conditions um, of the wind and the rain um, that we do quite often experience within this country. So yeah, the shirt itself, really, really heavy sort of cotton material. Uh, we've got some reinforced stitching in the neckline here. So these three lines are the really big major telltale sign that it comes to when comparing this shirt to the replica. The replica doesn't have those three lines on the player specification shirts do. Um, that is probably the only main sort of difference between the replica and the uh, the playing style shirt here. Um, we have got Parasol, Carlotti, the Club Crest and the Lloyd's TSB sponsor, which have all been embroidered into the shirt. Uh, Lloyd's TSB up here in the collar slot, which has dropped down. Those have been heat applied. Uh, we see the addition of Pride of East Hull, which features underneath the club crest, and that featured on shirts during this era. The design of the shirt is obviously gold um, and navy. We've got the gold detailing, and obviously we've got the navy uh, front of the shirt there. Um, in, a, in a recent episode, um, I say recent, it was actually a little while ago now, we did a special edition, which was based around a 2008 prototype shirt. I'll pop a picture of that up. So potentially the 2008 prototype shirt that I've put up there could have been the away shirt uh, for the 2008 season, but it was decided to follow on with the gold and navy colour combination that worked so successfully during the 2007 season. So as uh, we take a look at the sleeve here, you will see that we've got this parasol patch. This has been stitched into the shirt, and then we have got the Engage Super League competition patch that this has been heat applied. This is a really, really strong sign to me that this shirt hasn't been worn purely because of how good condition that this Super League patch is on the sleeve. The opposing sleeve is exactly the same. Uh, we also have the parasol stitch patch and the heat applied Super League uh, competition patch. As I said, these are in such good nick. They're like a felt material that does tend to sound of when it's um, creased down the side like this, it does show a strong crease sign in here. And it also starts to peel and even split in some parts of the competition patch. As I've said, you can really tell that this one hasn't been worn due to the condition of this patch. So before we take a little look at the back of the shirt, and we'll talk a little bit about Chris Wellham as a player, here is a quick word from our sponsor. White Oak Cottage is a two-bedroom luxury holiday cottage set in the stunning Lincolnshire Wolds. It has two ensuite bedrooms, a hot tub, wood burner, Wi-Fi, electric vehicle charger, and is pet friendly. It is ideally situated in the Wolds, yet only 15 miles from the coast and 25 miles from the historic city of Lincoln. For more information, visit whiteoakcottage.co.uk. Welcome back to episode 91 of Talking Shirts. Before the break, we were looking at Chris Wellham's 2008 away shirt, and that is where we are going to pick up in this second half. So now we're looking at the back of the shirt. As you can see, we've got that navy solid panel that continues on the back with obviously the gold detailing, which just kind of feature down the sleeves and then obviously into the side panels and along with this gold cuff that goes all the way around the bottom of the shirt, which is also the same on the sleeve. 
We've had conversations in the past about this Lloyd's TSB branding being A, too big, and B, too low. It needed to be a little bit smaller and a little bit higher, which would have then allowed for the name to be applied higher up the back and the number higher up the back as well. Um, the name Wellum actually features sort of across the middle of the shirt um, at the back, and then obviously the numbers, they actually drop really, really low. Um, obviously in the modern day, we now have sponsors in these low spots, as you can see here with Hirebase. Um, so that obviously wasn't a, a contradicting factor down the bottom of the shirt. But if this had been a little bit smaller and a bit higher up, that would have allowed the name to be where this is and the number to start a little bit here. Um, we did see during some parts of 2008 to try and re, let's say, cover up the error. The number was applied higher with the name underneath. I'll pop some pictures up so you can see what that looked like. Um, obviously, that didn't last for very long. The RFL contacted the club and asked them to change that. So this is why the rest of the shirts was prepared in this manner. So let's talk a little bit about Chris Wellham. So Chris Wellham made 191 appearances for Hull KR in 10 years at the club. And in that time, he scored over 100 tries. Now, Chris Wellham, for me, was somebody who, when I first started attending games in 2009, was kind of a, was developing into a bit of a mainstay. He was somebody who was really starting to introduce himself into that team, sort of through 09 and into 10. And from 2011 onwards, he really was a first team feature up until the end of his days at the end of the 2015 season. Um, the decision was quite clearly made early on in 2015 that Chris wasn't going to be offered a new contract for the 2016 season. And then that meant that Chris actually took a step down and he went down to the championship. Um, he wasn't actually there for very long though. He did just do a season before the Salford Red Devils came calling um, and Chris kind of rejuvenated his career at the Salford Red Devils, um, going on to make quite a few appearances for those, for those guys. And he ended up uh, featuring in some really, really big games for them. Um, one that potentially got away a little bit too early. I think a lot of fans at the time was a little bit disappointed uh, that Chris did leave the club. Uh, it would have been great to have seen him stay for another year or two um, and even maybe even get a testimonial at the club. Obviously, he did 10 years. Um, you know, When you get past that 10-year period, you do have the opportunity to have a club testimonial and it would have been great if uh, we was able to give Chris that. Because me, with along with a lot of supporters who was watching Chris week in, week out, at some point in our lives, always wish that we had ginger hair too. Little clue there, if you can remember that one. So yeah, you know, it was a shame that Chris's career ended with the club in 2015, but he did, you know, uh, put in some really good performances and obviously to get 191 appearances for the club and score 100 plus tries, I think it was 102, uh, from a centre position, um, shows you how good Chris was. Um, Chris debuted in 2006 and he made his debut in the same game as his brother, uh, Liam, who didn't go on to the heights that Chris did, um, especially with appearances at Hull Kingston Rovers. So, yeah, that's been episode 91. Obviously, we've had a, a little tour around the uh, the 08 away shirt and spoken a little bit about Chris, um, obviously somebody who did possibly get away just a little bit too soon. Um, who knows if he'd have stayed for that 2016 season. Maybe we wouldn't have got relegated. But then again, it's all this and buts. Thank you very much for checking out episode 91. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode today. Check back in another couple of weeks where I'll be back with a shirt that was worn by a different centre during his time at Hull KR. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.